The lawyer for euthanasia campaigner Philip Nitschke has warned it will be a sad state of affairs if he's charged over the suicide death of a terminally ill Adelaide man. The dead man's family says Dr Nitschke has done nothing wrong, but he'll be questioned by major crime detectives tomorrow. Meeting with his lawyer today, a usually outspoken Dr Philip Nitschke appeared nervous. I didn't think that this would be a situation that I'd be involved in. The controversial euthanasia campaigner is being investigated by police and could be charged with assisting the suicide of terminally ill Max Bromson in a Glenelg motel on Monday. Mr Bromson took his own life using a drug he imported with the help of Dr Philip Nitschke's organisation Exit International. It would be a very sad state of affairs if a person who assisted uh, in that process was taken before the courts. While Dr Nitschke was saying little today, yesterday he suggested the police probe was politically motivated. And it is utter desperation to suggest that in any way the government might have interfered or prompted the police investigation into this gentleman's death. The legal scrutiny has Mr Bromson's family struggling. As for what the police have to do, that is what is required. It's just such a waste of resources and the other side of it is a, a huge inconvenience to us as a family. Four phones, two iPads and a camera were seized from the family on the night of Mr Bromson's death. There's nothing online, uh, but, but they don't know that until they look at it. Mr Nitschke will walk through the doors here at Adelaide Police Station on Wakefield Street with his lawyer tomorrow morning to speak with major crime detectives. If the law was different, we wouldn't have to go down this method. And that's what needs to be changed, not what Dr Nitschke did. Samantha Vardis, Nine News. And if you or anyone you know needs help, you can call Lifeline on 13 11 14.